All right, so just to review momentum very quickly. Our body in motion, certain quantity referred to as momentum. Momentum is a product of the mass of an object and its velocity. So this is my equation for momentum right here. P, my symbol for momentum, is equal to the mass times the velocity. So P is momentum, M is mass, and V is velocity. Let me see what I have on the next screen. Let me see what I have on the screen. Okay, go back. It should follow that the larger the mass, the greater the momentum. Also, the faster the object is moving, the greater the momentum. And it should follow that momentum is a vector quantity. The reason for that is because, sorry, I'm on a new page. The reason for that is because we're looking at the velocity and not the speed. Remember that speed and velocity are almost the same thing. It's just that one of them takes into consideration direction. Right, and that's velocity. You remember that? Here's an example. So momentum is equal to if we have a mass of a ball is moving to the right, and the mass of the ball is 0.5 kilograms, and it's moving at a speed of one meter per second, then the momentum of the ball would be 0.5 kilograms times one meter per second, and it would be 0.5 kilograms meters per second from left to right, right? So, so that would be the complete um, description of the momentum quantity. And here's another example. What is the momentum of a 1,000 kilogram car moving south at 2.5 meters per second? The momentum would be mass times velocity. What do I have here? This is a mistake. Oh. So P is equal to, yes, it sounds like it. So P is equal to, well, before we get there, let's write, let's write M is equal to a thousand kilograms and V is equal to 2.5 meters per second. So P is equal to a thousand times 2.5, so that's 20, 2,500 2, kilograms meters per second. Good, simple. Which body has the greater momentum? It becomes interesting when we start to look at collisions, right? So, well, the story with momentum and collisions is that momentum is always conserved. In a collision, any kind of collision, any kind of interaction between two objects, right? The momentum of the objects is always conserved. Once the system is free from external forces, so once you don't have um, external forces interacting with the system, so let's see, the external forces could be things like friction, it could be it's the interaction from another person adding force to like one of the objects. Let's look at some examples. Or oh, let's quickly review the law of the conservation of momentum. For collisions occurring between objects, the total momentum before collision is equal to the total momentum of the objects after the collision, provided no external forces act. All right. So that's just supposed to be a really start to look at collisions, right? So, well, the story with momentum and collisions is that momentum is always conserved. In a collision, any kind of collision, any kind of interaction between two objects, right? The momentum of the objects is always conserved. Once the system is free from external forces, so once you don't have... Um, external forces interacting with the system. So let's see, Th external forces could be things like friction. It could be, it's the interaction from another person adding force to like one of the objects. Let's look at some examples. Or oh, let's quickly review the law of the conservation of momentum. 
for collisions occurring between objects, the total momentum before collision is equal to the total momentum of the objects after the collision, provided no external forces act. All right, so that's just supposed to be a review. And what do I want to do? Oh. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. So I know what happened. So look at this scenario here where we have ball one in motion and ball two stationary. Um, both balls have the same mass. It doesn't say, does it? It's velocity one, velocity zero. Um, the momentum is 0.5. That means that the mass of the ball is 0 0.5 kilograms. And the mass of this ball is the same, right? So identical balls is what we're looking at. When one collides with two, if the momentum is... Um, conserved if no external forces act what we have we have all the momentum from ball one gets transferred to ball two so that y'all could see the bottom here you can see my mouse right in yeah yeah okay so all the momentum from ball one gets transferred to ball two so that ball one is now is equal to zero and ball two is now moving with the same speed which is one meter per second this is an example of like the conservation conservation of momentum i saw a question i think i have it here today i saw a question where the, Sexy asked you to first they said give uh give the definition for the conservation of momentum and then they said give an example and uh, I'm not sure if people knew the type of example to give, but if they ask you if you ever see a question that asks you know, like to give an example of the conservation of momentum, this is a simple example to give. Construct an example where the mass of the objects are the same. So you start with two objects. The mass must be the same, right? One ball or one object must be completely stationary and the other one must be moving, right? When they collide, the, the momentum of one ball, this is it down here now, the momentum of the first ball will be transferred to all the momentum of the second ball. So the first ball will start moving completely and the second ball will start to move off at the same speed of the first one. You follow that? Yeah. yeah. Okay. And you'll be able to answer it as a question if you saw a question that says, give an example of the conservation of momentum. Okay. So this here is basically what I said. On the previous slide, all the momentum of the first ball was transferred to the second ball. Since the balls are the same size, the second one moves off with the same speed as the first. Here is another example. 